The streets of a Missouri suburb were strewn with tear gas canisters and rubber bullet casings again last night as protesters pledged to keep on demonstrating. For four days Ferguson, Missouri has existed in various states of chaos, conflict, confusion and indignation over the death of Michael Brown, an unarmed teenager killed by a cop Saturday night. Wednesday night was, for the most part, peaceful. But following a warning from police to protesters that public assembly should only take place during daylight hours, disorder took hold in the form of marching police, tear gas, rubber bullets and other ammunition of suppression. On this fourth day it was a scene that has become all too familiar for the residents of Ferguson. It's not going to stop, said Phil Bowdry, wearing a paper surgical mask tucked under his chin in preparation for the tear gas that still hung in the air nearly two hours after the climax of Wednesday night's round of chaos. This is just the beginning.